So I'm having some issues with this tap, uh, which I have identified as a Frankie Olympus. And I basically worked out the shape around here and identified it. So hopefully I've got it right. I will just show you the issues. Um, we run the cobalt tap. You can see there we've got a leak at the neck. I have ordered this Frankie Olympus seal kit number 183 and it comes with a nice little allen key and uh, I presume that's a replacement screw which is handy and a multitude of seals. I'm not sure which ones of those we are going to need. There's also a bit of, I'll assume it's grease, uh, like Vaseline looking stuff. And we've got some comprehensive instructions so I'll just go to the stop tap and turn the water off. So I'm just going to drain off any residual water and then we'll insert this 2.5mm allen key um, in the back. Now things are going to be reversed so actually pushing it down will be clockwise so we're going to go the other way. It's always difficult when you're working back to front, it's always lefty loosey and righty tighty. So we just removed a cute little grub screw, which looks good enough to reuse. And the good news is it's dimensionally the same as the replacement we've got, so we could be on the right track here. So what we'll do, we'll just give the spout a wiggle whilst pulling up and see what gives. Um, I've just turned on some taps in the bathroom and that's helped no end, just drain the excess water out of the system. So it's a story of two plastic rings and two O-rings, and you can see where they go. So I've removed the O-rings, and these plastic ones are actually what's known as bearing rings, and I've only removed three. Now, the only thing I can think of is there may be one at the base, which is uh, missing in action. And uh, I can't find it in there. I've had a good look for it and a good fish for it and it, it just isn't there. It's not made its way in the sink anywhere because I've had these plugs firmly in. So it kind of escaped through there. So we'll just try putting that in at the end and see if it all goes back together. So it is recommended that you smear the earrings in this special grease. So I've got the lower o-ring on and then I'm going to move to that o-ring there and we just basically keep working up so we go over to his o-ring every time and I believe that is the correct way to do this. So I've just gently eased that one in place trying not to over bend it and not forgetting to align this little hole with the hole in the tap. This is the nylon bearing so we need to get that. So it's pointing up in the sky, if we've got the tap that way. I'll just gently insert this. See how it feels. Ah, it's just gone with a little clunk. That's good. So keeping the tap pointing straight to me, we're going to put the new grub screw in in the back of the tap and I'm just gonna just gonna do it with my fingers to start with. And the instructions do stipulate to only tighten it up sufficiently to keep the tap in. So it's just got taut there so we'll leave it at that. And we'll try and pull the tap out and it's not going anywhere. So just a little nipple suffice. We'll just give it another quarter of a turn for good measure. And it feels a lot stiffer than it did before. Well, that's everything back together. And now for the moment of truth. And all is lovely and dry. 
Many thanks for watching. Why not subscribe to learn of more low cost repair solutions?